Welcome to Chop Shop Motors. My name is Clay, and we're going to take you on another quick little journey to rebuild a couple of front wheel cylinders. So the last episode, more than likely, um, was the master cylinder rebuild, and uh, so I figured that master cylinder would take me about you know 45 minutes to build in it. By the time I got done pulling two of them, taking them apart, looking for pieces, blending them together, it took me a couple hours. And quite honestly, that's the story of doing old junk that you're resurrecting from the dead. It never happens fast. It always takes longer than you thought it was going to take. It uh, requires digging through your spare parts to get the pieces that are missing or doing some other kind of creative part to save it and that's okay that's just part of the price you pay to try to save something that most people would have scrapped so today we're gonna see if we can use a couple of those new wheel cylinders we've got and save a couple front wheel cylinders maybe we will maybe we won't but we'll give it a shot so let's see what happens. So here's one of the wheel cylinders that I pulled apart. The bleeder was busted off and smashed. So I pulled it out and I got a bleeder out of the old wheel cylinders from the F-250. And it there's a lot of stuff that's compatible. There's a bunch of stuff that's not, but there's some stuff that is. So I was able to use the F-250 bleeder and it looks like it's gonna work fine. So we'll be able to save this cylinder. The cylinder is kind of rough around the edges. It's a little rusty, had to press it apart, but I think we're gonna be able to save it. So we'll, we'll take a look after we hone it. Here's the other wheel cylinder. It was a little worse for wear. It was tougher to get apart than the left side, but um, you know, I think it. I think it'll build. Uh, they are different. One has the hose on one side. The other has it on the other side. So you don't get to interchange left and right. At least not on 53 to six. Um, as you rebuild these, they're pretty straightforward. You're just going to clean all these orifices out. You're going to try to get everything to be contaminant free. You're going to clean the bleeder out. This one had a good bleeder. It's kind of gr grody and dirty and plugged with whatever mud, but we'll clean it out. And then you're going to hone it really well and build it. So this is what we're starting with. I saved you the pain of watching me pull it apart. It uh, wasn't particularly complex. I used the press. I put it in the press. I put a big socket underneath and I used a smaller socket to just press the piston out. You know, you could do it with a hammer or you could do it with a vise. Uh, either one would work. The less hammering on the aluminum pistons that you do, the better. So that's a little peek. Let's pull this stuff a little farther apart and we will clean some stuff up. So we're gonna take these two cylinders, we're gonna pull the bleeders out because I'm gonna take and clean those up separately. This one I already cleaned up just to check to make sure it was gonna work. They're the same. And then we've got a piston and a inner spring we've got a couple cups that we'll throw away we've got another piston and we've got a couple bolts i think that's the extent of this particular bag of goodies we go this side we've got two more pistons an inner spring a couple cups that we won't use and some other miscellaneous pieces that we'll probably toss away. So once we get it built, we won't need any of that stuff. So let's 
So, next step is I'm going to clean some of this stuff up and then I will bring you back to show you what I've done. Okay, so what we did was we cleaned up these cylinders a little bit, not a ton. We took this stuff off the outside. We're going to clean them a couple more times. So both of these are ready to take to the next level and kind of check to see if they'll, they'll hone. We took, we've got here some soapy water. We took and we cleaned up the pistons. So these pistons are, had all the rust and corrosion taken off of them and we'll clean them up a little bit more, but that's kind of what they look like. We've got the springs in here. We've got the bolt. We've kind of taken all of the hardware we're going to need and we put it in here and uh, that'll be our, our cleaning solution. Nothing too complicated about that. We are going to get the stone ready, get it in the drill, and we're going to hone a couple wheel cylinders and see how it goes. So I told the wife that I was going to come out here and film a little bit and do a couple wheel cylinders and I said, kind of like I said yesterday, I said I will see you in about 30 minutes. It should be really quick and she looks at me and she goes, okay, I'll see you in a couple hours. So I've already uh, kind of, uh, she, she's got my number. So we'll see how we go. to try to do it where I can show you what I'm doing. The piece you want to make sure of when you're doing this, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, is just make sure you don't have your hand too close here where the stones can hook you on the palm of your hand after you pull it out. clean the stones uh, pretty regularly and get the grit and metal and rust out of there so it can give you a nice clean finish. So let's look down there and see if you can see anything. Put the viewfinder around. I'm not sure you can. Let me get a light. Okay, there are some pits around the edges, or so we're going to hone it again. There's some scores in it, which is interesting. So we'll see what we can do to get those out of there. And uh, first pass is, uh, I'll give it a C minus. Let's try it again. the 
cup is going to ride. <coughs> so as you look at this, you have to remember that that cup So this cup is going to be down half an inch inside the cylinder. So if you have things up above in this half inch area of this cylinder right here it really doesn't matter because it's just the side of this uh, piston that's going to rub against it so that isn't really uh, a concern it's what's going to happen in this little bit of action down here probably three-eighths of an inch between the centermost and where that cup's going to ride so on this one, I think it's going to make it. We're going to hone it one more time. It's got some rust right in the middle, but more than likely that's where the reservoir and pool of fluids going to fit, going to sit. The cups aren't going to sit right against each other. So I think we're going to be okay. We'll hone it one more time. And we'll do the other one. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. It's not perfect, but um, I think it's gonna work for what we're doing. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, rinse it off and blow it off and we'll call this one done. We'll go to the next one. Okay, so this cylinder is gonna be good. I don't think you're gonna be able to really see that, but it's got some corrosion right in the center that probably isn't going to bother us it had a couple scores down the side and that's what why i took a little extra honing to it typically when you do a wheel cylinder like this and you're doing a car that's just weeping and it's been in service it's like and it's good it doesn't take the kind of um, extensive honing that you have to do on these old things so you know the goal of this old truck is to bring back stuff from the dead and the hard part is is that it always takes more time and effort to bring stuff back when it's completely dead so these wheel cylinders if i wouldn't have built them nobody else probably would have they would have gone ahead and uh, pitched them the whole concept of rebuilding the wheel cylinder is foreign. You can buy them for, you know, 20, 25 bucks a piece. But I don't want to buy them. I want to use the old original Ford stuff and Lockheed stuff. And I want to I want to put it back together. And I can buy a kit for four or five bucks and build it with a little bit of, e a little bit of time in an evening with you. And it's kind of fun. And it's kind of cool. And it's keeping me from... You know going crazy so that's kind of why i do this if this fails and i need to put another one on i've got another one it's okay so i'm out four bucks so let me wash this up and rinse it and then we'll blow it off and we'll put the kits together all right let's build a couple wheel cylinders so here they are get a little closer to you here they are this is and i've marked down right left so that here it is it's been home same for this one it's ready to go so let's get the kits all right we've got a couple new or new old stock Probably newer, but still not brand spanking. Wagner kits. Right size. All good. We'll get them looped up here. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is put a, a little bit of brake fluid down in the bores just because I don't want them to rust and it makes sliding the pistons in and the cups in a little smoother. in. We'll now take the dust cover, we'll flip it inside out, and we'll put it over it so that it's on there nice and snug. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep that cup and that piston from sliding out the back side as we put it together. Okay, I'm going to put the spring in. The spring is kind of made to push that cup out, so nice. it's a nice piece, works well. We'll slide that in. We'll then put some brake fluid around the perimeter of the other cup. We'll get it started. As you can see, this is pretty straightforward stuff. Nothing too complicated about this. We'll take the other piston, we'll slide it down. Now at this point, that, that wheel cylinder actually has some spring pressure on it so you want to be careful that you kind of pay attention to the fact that it's loaded with a spring and a um, piston. So now what you have after you're all done is you can wipe it down and you have one complete wheel cylinder. This one's a left. Very nice. Well now we'll do the same thing for the right. We're going to take our new old stock wheel cylinder kits that have been on the shelf forever and we'll throw the box away because we have used them. What better way, what better life for a new old stock part than to put it to service? Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to loop this cup up. Cup's got brake fluid all the way around. The cylinder already had some in it because you saw me put that in there. We're going to take the piston. We're going to do the same thing. Going to get some brake fluid on it. Push it in. I'm going to take this brand spanking new dust cover. I'm going to slide it on there. And we're going to flip it over. We're going to put our brand new spring in there. We're going to take our new cup, do the exact same thing, put it in there, slide it down a little bit, take our piston. I mean the tricky part about doing an old wheel cylinder like this or you know um, old parts like this is are the parts that don't come in the kit still in good shape. So if they are, then you're in really good, you're in good space. Okay, so there we have it. One right and one left. Now what we'll do, I don't put this brake fluid back in the container because I just feel like it's probably been contaminated or has the potential to be. I throw away these new old stock boxes which were so nice. In here we have some 
miscellaneous parts that we're going to we're going to need now. I'm not going to need those little strings, but we will save those actually. Okay. We'll stick a couple of. pins in that will push on the brake shoe. Mainly mainly just to keep everything kind of together. And when you're all done, here's what you end up with. A couple of wheel cylinder kits, 30 minutes worth of work, give or take. We'll put them in a bag, tighten up the leader screws just because I don't know I just have a phobia about leaving leader screws open so I'll tighten them up put the two wheel cylinders in the bag put the master cylinder in the bag master cylinder was from the night before it's all done ready to go and basically what we have is one more step in the 30-day truck challenge. Well, thanks for joining me um, this evening on the truck challenge. It is a, you know, it's a lofty, it's a lofty goal to try to put together this truck in 30 days. I, uh, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it or not. But we're, you know, I'm pecking away at it. Uh, Shelby's helping from time to time when she can. And we're moving it forward a little incremental bit. If any of you have tried to put together an old project, you know it always takes more time than you think. And that's okay. That's all right. So we're taking a bunch of parts that for the most part probably should have gone to the scrapper I mean most of this stuff we're saving is so borderline that you know I, I would say 80 for 90 95 97 98 percent of the people would have never even messed with it so we just I, I'm just up to the challenge of seeing if we can save this old stuff and make a truck out of it and have some fun I'm confident that we'll make a truck out of it. Well, we do it in 30 days. We're giving it a heck of a shot and uh, life gets in the way and work gets in the way and you know, kids have things that need to happen and that's just the way it works. So we saved a couple wheel cylinders tonight. We saved a master cylinder the other night and you know, you start to add that stuff up and it's like, well, it's not really that big a ticket item, but you know, a wheel cylinder is 25 bucks a whack. A master cylinder is probably a hundred. Um, and so my gut feeling is I've got about, I don't know, four or five bucks in each wheel cylinder plus a little shipping. I've got a little more in the master cylinder kit, probably 25 bucks. And you know, we can add it up at the end just to kind of give you an idea. But bottom line, if you're doing it yourself and you're saving it and you're trying to make it work, you're gonna have way less in it. Is there gonna be some stuff that doesn't work? Yep, absolutely. There'll be some stuff you get to do twice. And that's just the way it is. So I've been doing stuff twice my whole life. For me, that feels normal. So I don't have any problem with it. But some people, you know, they want to do it once and done, and, um, you know, my suggestion is you're probably in the wrong hobby, or you need to just go buy a finished car, and you'll get it once and done. You'll write the check, and you get to enjoy it. I, I love people that can do that. That's super cool. I've never had the luxury of being able to write a check and really just buy whatever I wanted, so I kind of do it 20 bucks at a time. I'm okay with that. Um, that's how I grew up. Um, it's part of my DNA. 
I come from a long line of fixers and uh, and repairers, so it seems normal. This is no different. So we fixed some stuff. We were gonna put it back together. We're gonna make that old truck go. It is my charge to do it, and we're one step closer because of tonight. Next steps will be probably swap the rear end out of the frame. It's time to do that and reduce the spring pack number by, I, I think there's, I don't know, 11 or 12 springs in the spring pack. So we're gonna reduce it down to probably seven springs. Should be more than enough for what we're hauling. So we'll get it way down. That'll bring the back of the truck down. It'll soften up the back of the truck a little bit. And then we'll swap the rear end in. We'll have a couple more wheel cylinders to do. We'll see if any of the brake parts in the rear end are saveable. That rear end looks pretty, pretty scruffy. So I'm pretty sure the third member will be fine, but I don't know if the drums will make it. We'll see. We'll, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully the wheel cylinders will build. Maybe the shoes will be good enough to use. <clears throat> and we'll get the rear end back together at that point. What we might do is uh, <clears throat> we'll be about at the point where we need to swap cabs and somewhere in that process we'll put the new brake parts on it and put the brakes on the truck. Um, swapping cabs will be a big event. We'll get some friends over here and we'll see if we can get a little help doing some of the manual labor of lifting one cab off of one truck and vice versa. So big progress uh, coming. I've already got some talent, some muscle talent enlisted. They seem to be on board. They don't know what they are on board for. So, you know, it's sometimes it's better if you just don't share that stuff. You just say, I need a little help. So they think they're signing up for a little help. Little do they know that they're gonna have to lift a couple trucks. So we'll get that part swapped and we'll be, holy crap, we'll be hauling. So, I'm Clay for Chop Shop Motors. Please like, share, subscribe. This has been a fun little series. Uh, I might do another 30 day something after this one. It's kind of fun. It motivates me to get out in the shop and make some action happen. And it's fun showing you what the heck's going on in this little bitty drop on the map in Arizona in a metal building where you know, not too many people get to see inside. I'm Clay, we'll see you on the next project.